Hello everyone, I am Ghulam Abbas. I hope you guys are fine and doing great. Well, uh, you can see that this is the detail of this PC that I am using. It is uh, Lenovo IdeaPad 320. I don't know what is the version exactly, but it has the uh, Intel Core i5 7 Gen processor. Based on what Microsoft released, uh, only the Intel's 8th Gen and above processors can support Windows 11. And for, for AMD, AMD 2000 series and the 3000 series, they are able to install Windows 11. However, the older versions, they are not able to install Windows 11. So you can see that basically this is the computer which uh, I have already installed Windows 11. You can see that I am running, I am recording, editing, everything doing in the uh, computer. So there's also another thing that this PC do not have the TPM chip. Uh, uh, TPM chip if you have watched the previous video which is five ways to check if your PC has TPM chip or no so you know that this PC do not have the TPM chip but the thing is how I, how I was able to install Windows 11 without using the bypass methods you know that uh, on the web there are multiple ways that you can bypass the error of this PC can't install Windows 11 on this PC due to TPM 2.0 in the secure boot I have not used any of those methods in this PC and again I was able to install uh windows 11 so it is basically because of the intel platform trust technology now what is intel platform trust technology uh you can say that it is the evolution of the tpm uh, in other words tpm is actually uh, an actual chip which is integrated into the computer into the motherboard but uh intel platform trust technology it is a firmware based tpm and it has all the functions and the functionalities uh, of a TPM but in the firmware version it is actually using the existing processor uh, as the cryptography as a, uh, to secure the files so basically uh, this is an article which is about Intel platform touch technology and about the TPM everything is totally explained here in full detail I'll provide the link in the, in the description you can just go ahead visit this article uh, read it then you will you know that how you can uh, basically what are the differences between TPM and the Intel platform trust technology there's also they have also recorded a video here I will also provide this uh, the video in the description you can visit it it is very good and they have explained everything very clearly so there is no need for me to explain it uh, here you can also download this PDF file uh, just you have to scroll down to the end click and then open it and then you will know that what are what is the TP, PTT and what is the TPM what are the differences so to put it in simple words it is a lot of complicated but to put it in simple words that uh, Intel platform trust technology it is actually a firmware based TPM module which has all the functions and the functionality of the TPM and it means that you are able to install Windows 11 on this computer without any issue so I have also recorded a video of how I installed Windows 11 on this PC which do not even have the TPM chip but I am I was able to install I have recorded the video here and you can see that uh, everything is uh, installed every video is recorded uh, to tell the truth I have also uploaded the video in the YouTube but I have not created a thumbnail for it so uh, the moment I created the thumbnail I'm also going to post this post uh, this video and then you will know that how I installed Windows 11 on this computer so the good news is that if your PC has the Intel platform trust technology then you are good to go with installing and testing Windows 11 on your computer. So, if you like this video, do not forget to subscribe into our YouTube channel. Also, hit the like button. And if you do not like the video, hit the dislike uh, key or the dislike tap on the dislike and then tell me the reason why. So, till next time, have a nice time and goodbye.